Today, I'd like to finish off our easy items on our quest for everything. Welcome back to Exploration and Tactics with Brian. Last time we did some science in the end, and I have just returned, and it's nighttime, which means we might be able to get the final piece of chain armor that we need. I think, is it the leggings that is the thing I'm missing? I can't actually remember which piece. I need to finish off the set at this point, but that's another thing that could be doable. And yeah, there's only, I don't know, a dozen or so other quote-unquote easy items that I can just craft with materials that I have that are left at this point. And so I think I want to go ahead and knock them out. And since it is raining, there's always a tiny chance that we're going to get lucky and get a thunderstorm again. So I'm really kind of hoping for that. And if not, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to finally do with respect to the mob head, so I'll have to think about it. But to start things off, I think I'll just run around and see if I can manage to find any chain armored bad guys to kill. I have a list of the easy remaining items that I haven't made. Didn't manage to see any chain armor guys through the night. And so let's see how many of them I can make here quickly. I think trapdoors I've not made, the wooden kind. So there's one thing. I have not gotten a chiseled stone bricks, which can be made out of stone bricks, uh, stone brick slabs. And I forgot to find them. I think we did find a jungle temple at one point, but I didn't manage to get it then. Stone brick stairs are something else that I haven't crafted. As well as redstone lamps. And then I think I haven't made the stair variety of quartz. And did they just go like this as well? Yes. All right. Great. I haven't made a cookie, amazingly enough. And I don't believe I've made cobblestone walls. Do they go like this? Apparently they do. Fantastic. And it just occurred to me, I haven't cooked up any nether brick either. And so to do that, all we need to do is grab an empty furnace and do something like that. And speaking of something else I can do with a single plank, make a wooden button. There's another object that I haven't made. And I think I'm looking back over at my list. Oh, right, I've got the black wool in my inventory, because even though we made a banner in this particular version, I had a bug where only a black banner would count. So that will count as a banner. And I think maybe that's all the easy items that I could craft, but let's take a look up here and see how we're currently doing. I'm listed at 506. It is the case that the score on the right is not completely correct. But let's see, it's the boots of the chain armor that I still need. Obviously, we still need the mob heads. Uh, note block. I forgot about the note block still. All right, so I need to make that. Uh, the shrub over there is a duplicate, and so I've already got the shrub. Uh, mossy cobblestone walls. Okay. I think that might be it. So what did I just say? Mossy walls, and there was one other thing. The note block. Great. Let's go make those. And then I think it'll be just the mob heads and the <laughs> the other thing <laughs> the chain boots okay note block is just redstone surrounded by wood and so that goes like this and the mossy walls will just be six of these and we look at that the sun is going back down once again haha all right great Sun is going back down, and so I just need to find a place to kind of dump all of this crap that I've just made. And yeah, then we can continue on to trying to find some chain armored guys once again tonight. And seeing if I can have any better luck with that. Aha! There's a guy. I decided to wear... wear. <laughs> Ride one of my faster horses. Oh, I put away all my arrows. Crap. <laughs> well, we don't need arrows to kill... This one chain zombie. Give me your boots, sir. They look mighty fine, and I would love to wear them. Alright, there are a bunch of bad guys here, though. Yeah, I do not have a bow. Alright, this is going to be a little crazy. Nope. Nope. Ouch. Alright, that might have helped. Uh, where is chainmail guy? 
Did he die in the explosion? Darn it. I don't think I see him over here. Darn, darn, darn. Yeah, I think we lost Chainmail Guy and... Oh, wait. Alright. I may have already managed to pick up an arrow. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> I think I left the horse back over here. I was cleaning up my inventory with all the mob drops and I made a separate chest of just like all the mob drops. But this is my fast horse. And so I figured he would be a good way to quickly kind of travel across the terrain and be able to kind of like spawn and despawn various mobs. So I thought that that was a clever idea, uh, but it would also be a clever idea to have some arrows so that my infinity bow will work. And I nudge the other horses getting out, and so the other horses are out of the pen, and so everything's a big mess. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to ride over here mostly just to despawn most of the mobs who are out on our main mob fighting plane, and then I will ride back. And we'll see. Oh, boy. All right, there's a creeper right there. Don't let him see us. And then we'll see how things look over here and see if we can get any other chain armor guys. So keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, it is definitely a whole lot faster using the horse. And I do feel like we are spawning and despawning more mobs. So I think that this is a good strategy. I could have even, like, splashed a speed potion on him or something. Or tried to check out the world to try to find the fastest possible horses I could find anywhere. I'm pretty sure if I'm out all the way over here, the local difficulty is not high enough that we're not going to see any chain armored guys. But I'm also far enough away that we should have despawned all the mobs out on the good side. And so now we'll get some fresh mobs over here. Given that the horse I'm riding is undead, he's taken a bit of damage as a result of skeleton arrows. And something I hadn't really ever thought about before, I presume an instant damage potion, since he's undead, would actually heal the horse. And so I could carry those around if I wanted to like heal these guys really quickly, I could have a splash potion. Uh, oh, the moon's just about to set, darn it. Okay, we're about to run out of time to spawn any more mobs. So let's do one more run through. Ouch! Don't kill my horse, please. He's pretty fast, and I kind of like him. But I don't think we're going to see any chainmail, any more chainmail guys tonight. I blew up the only one that we did see. Bummer. Sometimes I don't know where the time goes. One minute I'm patching up holes and covering over lakes as a result of the previous creeper explosions and just trying to make the land a little flatter. And the next minute, it's already nighttime again. And so, we are back on chainmail duty. But I'm going to continue to see if I can make the land a little bit flatter out here, just to make things easier. Ah, here's a guy with chainmail boots. Hey, zombie. You want to drop those for me? Don't you shoot him, skeleton. Ah. All right, no drops from that guy, but at least we saw one. That's progress. Another thing I just realized about riding a horse is you can eat food while you're traveling at kind of like normal maximum speed or whatever, which is pretty cool. I hadn't really ever thought about that before. No more chainmail guys found. Just for future reference, because they've made a couple of changes in the last few snapshots, I'm now playing Minecraft 1.9.4. And it seems to me to be the case that with horses... Where did the other one who managed to escape go? Okay, I found him. If you drop him in the little pen and hop off, sometimes, this time he did not, uh, let's try it again. Sometimes it is the case that they will immediately, uh, right after you hop off, start pathfinding and start walking around again. Uh, but I have found basically if they do do that, if you push them back into the little pen, once they're in the pen and they've gotten into a standstill kind of AI position, they won't try to get back out. And so this does still work to pen them in, provided that they are not kind of like wandering to start. And so I just wanted to show that off. But it is morning time once again. I didn't find any other chainmail guys, and so we are going to work on something else, which is we're going to go back to the nether and try to collect some more gas tears so that I'll be able to respawn the dragon, because there is more dragon science I want to do. While I'm trying to get some gas to spawn here in the nether, it occurs to me that I can kind of do double duty in terms of work. 
by making it easier for gas to spawn, by making more large flat areas where there's kind of a five by five space where they could spawn. But at the same time, I'm also starting to gather up some netherrack, which I might want a whole ton of if I do decide to try to make a creeper farm in order to get the electrified creepers for the mob heads at some point. Using kind of a standard design, the advantage of having netherrack around is it allows you to spot after the fact where lightning has striked, uh, or where lightning has struck, I suppose because obviously the nether rack will stay on fire and since the lightning causes some small fires uh, you can spot the nether rack okay we heard our first gas that's good you can spot the fires and use that in order to determine where it is there's a gas hey buddy are you i think you're somewhere where i could retrieve your what do you call gas tier there we go there is gas tier number one and two and three nice good job looting sword Looting is one of those nice enchantments that so long as the player gets a kill while you're holding the sword, uh, anything you've killed or that would count as your own player kill, any kind of enemy you've attacked in the last five seconds, will come under influence of looting so long as you're holding the sword. So that is super cool. Here's a question I've never really thought about before. Can mobs spawn in fire? Obviously, you know, most mobs from the overworld can't. But for the nether mobs that don't care about light levels, if you had, you know, an entire plane of nether rack that was entirely covered in fires on top, can mobs spawn on top of that? Could zombie pigmen spawn there? Could gas spawn there? I don't actually know the answer to that. Uh, I'm sure someone does, and if you know in the comments and have any evidence to back it up, uh, please, by all means, let me know. I see you, gas. Don't run away from me. I'm trying to shoot you. Nice. All right, I think he was over a spot where I ought to be able to collect his drops, if there were any. Hey, it's gas tears. Hooray, I'm up to five. Awesome. Hey, there's a ghast. Nice. And he did drop a tier. Does that bring me to six? Yes. Let's see if we can get up to eight. There's a ghast. Nice. I think I saw a ghast tier drop too. Oh, did it drop somewhere good? Please? Maybe? Oh no. Might have fallen off the edge or maybe there wasn't a ghast tier there. Oh, here it is. Hooray! Up to 10 gas tiers. All right, now I'll head home. There's a chain guy. It is nighttime once again back in the overworld. And I've been on boots patrol. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, that did a number on my horse. That's unfortunate. Boots patrol, it just occurred to me, it sounds like that could be like, like late 70s, early 80s cops drama or whatever. It'd be like, boots patrol would be the uh, theme song at the beginning. I feel like there's definitely a future in that. Someone should get on that. Boots Patrol, to make it a comeback. In any case, let's see if this guy has the boots that I desire. It's not seen that he does. All right, that's very sad. Um, there's a lot of zombies here, and I don't have anything convenient for splash damage. I'm just curious to see with the swipe attack. Yeah, it still takes a lot of sword swings in order to try to kill all these guys off. And that's definitely not worth it in terms of my looting sword. How much damage did you take, horse? You took a fair amount. Uh, I need to be more careful. In any case, I will continue on Boots Patrol and see if we can find any more chain mail boots guys. Well, I hadn't even noticed. Apparently, I picked up a chain chest plate during this night of Boots Patrol, but I didn't see any other guys wearing chain mail tonight. So we'll have to try another night. <laughs> oh, this horse is down to one heart. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to leave him over here where hopefully he won't get shot by any more skeletons near me uh, to make sure that he can heal back up. And at some point uh, while I was driving past here, a skeleton shot a creeper. And then the creeper went and blew, blew up, so I'm going to go repair the ground as well. I want to be able to respawn the dragon a couple of times. So I've got some more Eyes of Ender, 
ready to go and I'm gonna leave them in here. We have gas tiers. The other thing I needed was glass and so I have started. Had some other things that I needed to cook up. I got some lava buckets for smelting. But I've started cooking up some glass and I went and just collected some more sand. And so I can cook up this glass as well. The sun is about to go down again. <laughs> It seems like I never stop in terms of one task just moves on to another, but I'm going to cook up the glass as well and then we'll be able to make lots of ender crystals and resummon the dragon all that we want. And I need to, I guess we'll do one more night on Boots Patrol and then I need to see where I am in an episode because I've done a ton of editing this episode and I have no idea. Here's a chainmail guy, spawned almost immediately. Hey buddy. I'd like to hit you with my looting sword, if you don't mind. Don't mind if I do. Hey yeah. And it looks like he dropped nothing. What a guy. Doesn't he know I'm on Boots Patrol? Boots Patrol, you have chainmail boots. Boots Patrol, I want you to drop them. Did he drop them? He did not. What a guy. Oh my gosh, so many bad guys over here. <laughs> well, that's what I want. But I'd really like one of them to be wearing boots. Uh-oh. Boom! <laughs> I'm glad I got that on camera. Whenever you ride by in a hurry, if you hear a creeper go, tss, because you got hit by an arrow, you know what's going to happen next. I've been keeping an eye on my diamond chest plate, which is protection four, and it's getting down to a little red sliver. And so I went ahead, I had an Unbreaking 3 book. And made a new chest plate with Unbreaking 3, so that I could do a combination so that we could last, <laughs> have that last for a lot longer. And so now I've got Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. I've got Mending on the Pants. And I'm surprised actually the boots are holding up as well as they are, because they don't have any Unbreaking, nor does the helmet. I guess I've been wearing that chest plate for a while. And yeah, despite the fact that it'll be a little bit of a shorter episode today, I feel like we got some stuff done. In particular, got just about all of the quote-unquote easy items. Looking around once more, just to double check, I need the chainmail boots, I need the skeleton head, the zombie head, and the creeper head, which are going to be very hard. That shrub is impossible to get. And yeah, there's like a filled map behind here, but I'm pretty sure I got that one. Uh, and so, yeah, those are the only items remaining. Uh, it's inconsistent over on the right-hand side, what it says. But in any case, I've always been going for the people's guesses with the score of what it displays up on the right-hand side of the screen. It says I have 508, and I looked at the guesses that people made on episode 24 a couple episodes ago. And no one guessed correctly. No one guessed that I was going to go and craft up all of the remaining items that were easy to get. But the closest guess was, once again, Stephen Emil who guessed 507 and was the highest guess on that episode. So congratulations again, Stephen, for coming closest in the guessing. And I think that's where the guessing game is going to end, because at this point, I only have four items left. One of them is going to be very easy to get, and the other three, I don't know if I'm going to get at all. And so we'll see what happens there. There is going to be more to this series yet, because I do want to continue with the science that we were doing in the end and respawning the dragon and try to come up with a straightforward kind of automatic killing the end crystals mechanism if I can. And so I'm interested in doing that, uh, but at some point this series may come to a close. I'm not sure exactly when or how. If you have other suggestions for other things you'd like to see me do in this world, by all means, you can leave suggestions in the comments of this video. But for now, I will say that I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more exploration and tactics as I at least try to get the chainmail boots and see if there's anything else clever I can do to try to go after those mob heads. Bye-bye. Hope you're having a great day.